Hello everyone, welcome to Helpful Solution Tutorials and welcome to our guide on MailJet. MailJet is a comprehensive email marketing solution offering tools for creating, sending, and tracking emails effectively. So whether you're a business owner, a marketer, or individual, MailJet platform is designed to help you engage with your audience through professional email campaigns that delve into the key features and functionalities of MailJet. So, MailJets offer three simple ways to start using the services. Sending newsletters with online tools, sending via SMMTP without coding, and integrating using MailJet's powerful APIs. So, to get started, go to the official website of MailJet, and then you click on the sign up button. So, to sign up, you need to add your information like your first name, last name, email address, and a password. And after that, you click on sign up. So they will send you an email to confirm and activate your account. So just uh, go and check it and activate your account. After that, as you can see here, we have our dashboard. The dashboard is really simple and easy to manage. So here we have campaigns. If you click on campaigns, we can see your campaigns and you can compare campaigns. You also have a template. So we have email template and form template. You have automation, your workflows. You have contacts, your contact list, all your contacts, exclusive uh, list, contact uh, properties, segmentation, form builder, validation. Here you have images, you have state and API. So uh, if you want to start, for example, let's go and click on campaign. Click on my campaigns. So here you will find all your campaigns. So the start campaigns, draft campaigns, campaigns that you sent, scheduled, A-B testing, and Airship. So to create a campaign, click on create a campaign. So here you'll have to add the name of the campaign. So add the name, for example, mode. You'll have to add the subject, add the name of the sender. You can look by email address too. And here you will have to add your content. So click on content and here uh, you have many, uh, how we say, templates. So for example, we have a Black Friday template, New Year Eve uh, template, Cyber Monday, many templates. And you can search for uh, a template by keywords. For example, let's say market marketing, like e-commerce. So click on e-commerce and it will show you all the templates of e-commerce. Here we have uh, featured template, basic template, we have the newsletter template, etc. Uh, let's click, for example, or select the New Year Eve, and here it will uh, open for you. So you can start editing by HTML code or directly by text. So uh, click on text, and here you can change it. So you can change text, the button, add images and videos. Uh, divider, spacer, etc. You have many options. And after uh, finishing the editing, you click on preview and test, or you can review and send it directly. So click on review and send, and done. It will be sent to your uh, uh, list of emails that you chose. So finally here, you add the contacts list. So here, search for a list. If you don't have a list, you can click on my first test list to test uh, the feature or you can create a list. So click on create a new contact list. You will be able to add the emails of uh, people. So to create the list, for example, you'll have to give a name to the list. For example, my contact. And after that, click on continue. Then you will have to choose a list source. So you can upload the list directly from your device or you can insert it manually. So by adding it yourself, click on continue. And here you can add contacts. So what you need to do is uh, write the email, first name, last name, gender, location, etc. So for example, let's write modiofagmail.com. Then here you write the name, the last name, etc. It will be added. And then you click on continue. So here it will be added here. So here you select the field. Is it a country, a first name? Is it uh, here also country? And done. Now it is matching. It's like a table. Click on continue. And done. You click on check, create list. So now we have our list. You can go back to the campaign. After creating your list and adding it to the campaign, you can validate it, add the list here. So finally click on save. 
and now you can send the campaign to the email address that you added so finally we added the campaign this is how you add a campaign so you can check the statistic of the campaigns click on view campaign statistics so for the statistics we have uh, the percentage of blocked mails the soft bounce the hard bounce retrying and here you have your contact engagement so who opened the emails uh, how much clicks or how many clicks you have how many subscribers you have and how many emails marked as spam so here if we go scroll down you have additional metrics so you have the top length the url the top clicks the unique clicks etc so click on view i'll click the link and you'll be able to see all your data and you can download it by clicking or download now if we click here on email provider here you will find all the list of providers of your email so here for example we created one it was unknown and every time you create an email it will be shown here in this list now, if we go and click here on a compare campaigns, here you will be able to compare your campaigns. So click on select campaigns. For now, we have only one campaign. So you'll have to have two campaigns. So you click on the second one and click on compare campaigns. Then it will give you the statistic of uh, two graphs right here comparing uh, between two campaigns of yours so the one that performs better and many other options now if we click on uh, template you have email template and form templates for the email template we saw it so let's click on form template and here we have many templates you click on create a new template it will offer you many templates we have the basic newsletter, sign up, a, a city tour, context, etc. It depends on the field or on the problem that you want to announce in your email. So, for example, let's click on city tour, uh, contact, a uh, contest, sorry, and then here you choose a name for your template. Let's say tour. Then you click on use this template. So as you can see. It is the same options. You can edit text, you can add images and dividers, you can uh, add your social media. So if you click on social media, you'll be able to add the links to your task. And here we have the layout. So you can add uh, a column, two columns, etc. Uh, it is really easy to use. And then you click on save and publish to gallery. And like that, you just created your own template based on some other proposed templates. So here you have the list of your templates for your forms. So if you want to confirmation page, you can add another template. If you want to double OT in email, you create another template. And here we have manage labels, so you can add labels. For example, let's click labels, say marketing, and you added the label. You can add a color, let's choose the blue color, and then it is added. So you can use it in the future. Now going back to our homepage or dashboard, so here we have uh, automation. So you click on my workflow. Now you'll be able to create your first workflow. Click on create my first workflow. And just like this, here's our the scenarios. So you can select a scenario. Let's say for example, uh, uh, contact property update. Then here you'll add the title, the language of the workflow, the time zone, uh, the LGBT and contact list. So what is a workflow? Creating a workflow will allow you to send automatic emails to your uh, subscribers. So if you have a new subscriber to your email list, it will be uh, sent automatically to him, like a welcoming email and stuff like. We have also contact. You can add contacts and stuff. Here we have images. So for the images, you can add and upload images that you can use in your future campaigns. So for each image, you can have filters by labels. So click on create a new label or add a new label. And here, if we go back to our homepage, we have also the states or it's like the statistic of our campaigns. So here you will see the performance. You have the, the queried, the delivered ones, the opened one, click one, many, many options. And here are the statistics. And here we have the API. So whenever you create an API or add an API, it will be shown right here. So you click on uh, create a sub account API, you just add the name and it will be created. Or you can generate a secret key for your APIs. It will be automatically generated for you. Here you have the search for your API by name. 
and that's it so the platform is really easy i'd advise you to use it thank you so much for watching the video see you next time